Hello and welcome back to our channel. We hope you guys are having an amazing day and we hope you guys are doing really well in your Korean studies. In this video, we will be covering some useful expressions for you to use. This video is directly linked to our video series regarding writing questions on a topic exam. Specifically, as you can see in this criteria, it refers to the use of vocabulary and grammar. But you can also see and use these phrases in situations in everyday life as well, so we hope that this video covers some general useful expressions for you to use. Let's get started. First, let's look at first. First in Korean is 먼저, 먼저. The example sentence reads as follows. 먼저. 제조업은 3.9%를 차지하면서 취업 준비생들이 가장 취업하고 싶은 분야로 꼽혔다. Here is the English translation for this sentence. We can use this word much like in English, where we mention something first in a list of points. Generally, this word is also used a lot in introductions. The next expression is 다음으로. This means second in terms of ranking or a hierarchy. 다음으로. Usually, this phrase is used when you want to mention what the second rank is. It is very common to use 뒤르리었다 after this expression. 뒤르리었다 can be used to mean following by. For example, 다음으로 금융업이 뒤르리었다. Here is the English translation. If we literally translate the sentence, we get something like Secondly, the banking industry was the behind which we know sounds unnatural in English, but we can see how this has the meaning of following by in Korean. The next expression is 둘째로. This means second, where you want to move on to the next point. 둘째로. For example, 둘째로, 한국은 K-pop으로 유명하다. Here is the English translation. This can be used both with and without a comma. The next expression is 마지막으로. This means lastly or finally, and is usually used when you're talking about the final points in a series of points. 마지막으로. As we mentioned earlier, 으로 in Korean is used to mean through a certain method or thing. If we attach this to 마지막, we can see how this meaning is created. The example sentence for this is, 마지막으로 한국의 음식은 상비를 차지했다. Here is the English translation. The next expression is the verb 차지하다. This means to account for 차지하다. Linking back to the topic exam, in question 53, usually the paper asks you to analyze a diagram in the form of a pie chart, bar chart, or a graph with a percentage. This phrase is essential for this type of question since this verb allows you to describe any findings in these diagrams. The example sentence is as follows. 행복의 기분 조건은 건강이라는 응답이 제일 높은 비중을 차지했다. Here is the English translation. You can use this verb for percentages in the following structure as well. Subject, 은는, number, 퍼센트를 차지했다. The next expression is, 성생의 교육에는. This means in terms of something. Something in both the Korean and English can usually be replaced with a noun. 성생의 교육에는. This phrase is essential if you're wanting to compare things, such as in our example sentence. 남자의 교행에는 수입이 32.9%를 차지했다. Here is the English translation. The next phrase is 대부분의. This means the majority of. In both Korean and English, you can attach a noun after this. 대부분의. The example sentence is 대부분의 사람들이 행복하기 위해서는 돈이 많아야 한다고 생각했다. Here is the English translation. We know that in Korean, 의 is used to connect two nouns together. 대부분 means the majority in Korean, so we can see how this meaning is created. Also, remember that when 의 is used in this way, we can pronounce it as either 의 or 에. But it's much more common in spoken Korean to pronounce this as 에. The next expression is a noun 응답자. This means respondent. The example sentence is 대부분의 응답자들은 한국 음식을 선호했다. 
응답 in Korean means to respond or to answer. 자 is 한자, and when attached to nouns, this creates the meaning of person in Korean. If we put the word 응답 and the suffix 자 together, we can see how this creates the meaning of respondent. We can see this used in quite a lot of words in Korean. The final expression for this video is the phrase 년부터 년까지. This means from year something to year something. 년부터 년까지. The example sentence is already shown. In Korean, this would be 2007년부터 2010년까지. Be careful though, this phrase is different from the next phrase, which is 년과 년에. This means in the year something and something. 년과 년에. The example sentence for this is said as 2007년과 2010년에. The meaning for these phrases is created very easily. We know that 년 means year in Korean, but if we mix these with certain particles in Korean, the meaning changes. 부터 meaning from, 까지 meaning to, 과 meaning and, and 의 being used to connect two nouns together. We can see how these meanings are created. Using this phrase is important in showing when surveys or investigations happen. Understanding the difference between these two phrases is important to ensure whether you are showing transition or comparison between two time periods. Read the example sentences below and really think about the meaning of the sentences to help you understand the differences. 조진표는 2007년부터 2010년까지 노인 300명을 대상으로 한 설문조사이다. 주어진 그래프는 2007년과 2010년의 취업률을 비교한 것이다. And here are the English translations. We've gone through quite a lot. This table here summarizes all the content we've gone through today. Don't you feel more powerful in the Korean that you can use now? We certainly hope you do. Thank you so much for watching our video. Feel free to go back at any point in the video if there is anything you are struggling to understand. You can also leave a comment below with any questions. Thank you so much. 감사합니다.